boy, am I really doing this. Am I actually doing this? Am I attempting... You know, this is very much going to be an off-the-cuff heated video. This is very much going to be a rage-filled angst time. So if nobody wants to be here for that, I recommend you click off this right away. Because this isn't going to be the average Johnny Von Duke shitposting. We're not going to be exposing some big company today. We're not going to be going after a scam. This isn't going to be a short where I'm shitposting on some random social media celebrity. So if you're here for all that, you're going to have to click off right now. Otherwise, if you've read the title of today's video and still want to be in for this, then please, by all means, join me as we shitpost on perhaps the biggest entity we ever taken a shit on, and that would be the Selective Service. Now, I would have loved to start my political series by going after the ATF. That would have been fun. But instead of the ATF, I feel like Selective Service is going to be a worthy target. Now, a lot of you people are probably asking, well, what is Selective Service? Selective Service here in the United States is basically our replacement for the draft. A long, well, not a long time ago, the 70s wasn't that long ago. But a while ago, the United States had this thing called the draft, or essentially if any war or conflict were to show up that were an immediate threat to our nation, Congress and the boys upstairs, so to speak, could pull out the draft and every man over, I believe it was 19 till the age of 31, had to basically do it. I'm probably wrong on the last number, but I do believe you had to be somewhere between 18 and 20 and for this to work. We're going to be pulling all that up in a minute because I want to be comparing the draft to selective service later on. Or maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just bitch and complain because this is very much an off-the-cuff video. And who knows if I'll even remember to do that. But why am I going off on them now if this is meant to be the replacement of the draft? And why after so many years if this basically came in right after the draft was abolished way back in the day? Well, here's the thing. The draft has never truly been abolished. The Selective Service is just the Draft 2.0. Instead of there needing to be a war or conflict, now at the age of 18, you sign a nice little letter to your government, you put a good old stamp of approval on it, and then you send it to them, basically saying, hey, if any conflict were to show up, I'm ready. And here's the big bitch, you only have to be a guy. That's the only two requirements, you have to be male, and you have to be above the age. And you're probably saying, what, Johnny, that's bullshit. There's no way in hell you only, only dudes are being accepted in this, right? Like, the women have to get selective service too, right? Do you see a fucking me a female on here? I almost said a male. Do you see a female on here? Yeah, see? All male. Male. Now listen, this video isn't made to say women should get in on this. This video is to say... Just fuck all of this. <laughs> like, listen, I am a United States citizen. I, Johnny Von Duke, am. But I am here to tell the United States government, I will never give up my ass for you. Right? Let's be real clear on that. My ass is not yours. If your ass goes away tomorrow, my ass is okay. If my ass were to go away tomorrow, your ass isn't. That's the difference between me and you right now. To any government officials watching, like, if your ass were to go away tomorrow, I would be just fine. If my ass were to go away tomorrow, your ass would be French toast and you fucking know it. <laughs> That's the reality. U.S. government needs its fucking citizens, people. Let's not pretend here. If the citizens of the United States were to disappear tomorrow, the United States government would be fucked and wouldn't know what to do with itself. But if the government went away tomorrow, the citizens would be just fine and we'd be continuing on like it's nothing. We literally did the same thing during the pandemic when our government basically was shut down and non-existent. So yeah, if you don't believe me on that one, uh, well, we kind of have a 200-year guidebook on why you're full of shit. It, it's almost 200 years now. It's probably been more than 200 years. We'll look that up later. But yeah, that's basically what the Selective Service is. Registration for men 18 to 25. 18 and 25, 26 and older, verify your registration. It's also important to say you got to do this if you want to vote too, apparently. Not that the United States has ever been good at making sure its laws are enforced. 
I'm just saying, there are lots of ways you can get around it. I'm not advocating for it, but there are lots of fucking ways you can get around a lot of this shit. Additional groups. Yeah, see, only men. Yeah, and you are required, even if you're an immigrant. So if your ass wasn't born here, you still have to do it. Veterans are... Yeah! What is this? Please tell me, what is this bullshit? Why are women only ones allowed out of this? And why are parents sending their children off to fucking die? Why are the parents obligated to do this for you? You know, if you care so much about us, why aren't you coming to my front door right now and talking to me about why it's important? I know you have enough agents to do it. I, I can literally look up your numbers right now of how many people are employed by the U.S. government. I, I know you have enough agents. So, y you definitely don't need the parents to spread the message for you first off. Women should be included in this. It's the 21st century. It's 2022. No women why a woman can't pick up a rifle. No reason why a man can't pick up a rifle. I have seen children at the age of six pick up rifles. So yeah, I thoroughly believe a woman can fight in this. Not that I believe they should, because no one should. No one should. What is it with this bullshit where we want to go on about, we are the peacemakers. We are going to deliver peace and prosperity and progress on to you. But we need all of our citizens to sign up for a military service. I am deeply sorry, mateys, but there is a lot not adding the fuck up. Why do you need to do this, huh? Please explain to me why this is necessary in the 21st century when you can launch a fucking nuke. You know, when you have the fucking nuclear football in your back pocket at all times, Mr. President. <laughs> That's not entirely true. The nuclear football is a little bit over-exaggerated and blown up, but... It's like, you can launch a drone strike in minutes nowadays. What is my ass with a rifle gonna do? The, what's the woman with a rifle gonna do? What's the child with a rifle gonna do? They don't recruit children in this, let's be clear on that. That was very much a shit post right there. But be real with me. What is me or a woman with a rifle gonna do versus a drone strike? Right? It, it's not like we're fighting a revolutionary war... Where it's every guerrilla tactic or not. You know, it's not like a revolutionary war where I'm pulling every single fucking straw and nail out of my ass. Hoping to God I'm going to win this shit. Uh, me with the rifle is going to make no difference, U.S. government. I'm sorry. Uh, but it really isn't. It really isn't. And there's this whole verify now bullshit. We, we aren't even going to go through this. I would love to go through this to pick apart their bullshit. But we aren't even doing that right now. And here's the thing. Volunteers too. What's voluntary about this? Uh, can I get out at age 26 of this? And then start volunteering? Uh. Oh yeah. Hold on. hold on. And right here I pulled this up already. If you don't do this. 250,000 my boys. And dollars up in fines. Oh, and that's not even going, uh, uh, you, you need to remember, lawyer and court fees with that, too. So, you might as well go up to a cold half a mil at this point. You might as well go to a half mil at this point. My God. And, like, oh, why five years in jail? Uh, what difference would it make? Like, if a war is going down, and I didn't sign up for this... What difference if it's going to make if I'm in my house or a jail cell at that point? You know, if a serious threat to the United States is really there, um, where is it going to matter where I'm at? Please explain this. I would love to hear the logic on this. I would love to hear the logic on this. Man, we've definitely blown up. We're shitposting on the U.S. government. My God.